Shora, Belaje Ejin Machle Shuk, Chik Dalong. Hello everyone. Thank you for being here with us. I come from the Upsalagan Nation and my Upsalagan name is Fortunate with Horses, and my English name is Jory LaFrance. <clears throat> In a sea full of black caps and gowns, I stood out in red. The grass was covered in sandals and boots, while my moccasins gently laid on the ground. The sun was hot, but it also glistened on me a little differently that day. I blame it on the fact that a line of matriarchs stood behind me. My great-grandmother, who is 88 years young, road trip 2,100 miles to the other side of the United States. It was now time for the world to see this Absalogas soul walk across the stage to receive an Ivy League degree in my Absalogas souls. I knew I had found my purpose when I first left home, and that was to honor the matriarchs I come from, pave a path for future matriarchs to follow, and to always protect the land that raised us. Absalogas women are the backbone of Absalogas society and hold us together. We are the life givers caretakers, sources of wisdom and strength, teachers of all things, and most importantly, powerful, capable beings. I returned to my homelands from Dartmouth College with a degree in hand, skills to share, ambition to mobilize change, landscapes to protect, and people to care for. It is my life's work to give back to the strong foundations and powerful Absaluga women so that we can live our lives unapologetically Absaluga. My name is Mark Jonas. I work for Zamila Sante Partners in Health. I'm based in Haiti at the L'Hôpital Université de Mibale, so the University Hospital of Mibale. Um, I'm going to talk about mentorship and encouragement and legacy. <clears throat> the three of us are the nurses, the educators, the clinical instructors, the leaders we are today because of the, the influence of one, the legacy of Eleanor Pusey Reed. See, when I decided to join this nonprofit organization in Haiti to help open this teaching hospital, I wanted to be part of a team that not just, not just because it was such an amazing work they were doing in the health sector, but because the focus was on systems change, I knew that this was an opportunity to not just impart knowledge, but to transmit a concept. This was a chance to be part of a legacy. It is now eight years later after joining this organization and after opening the hospital. And as I transition out of my role as chief nursing officer and hand off that torch to my successor, it is with the hope that as part of this legacy, I did not just impart information, but that I effectively transmitted a concept.